Today I am joined by, or at least maybe I'm joining our special guest today, Michelle Pfeiffer, the creator of Sprout of Love, but more so than that, a living loser. And now, of course, you are on our team. She is in charge of learning and training. You know the program inside and out, but you also have this amazing product. Hello. Hi, thank you for having me and welcome to my home. <laughs> What I love about today is that you are showing the best of the best of your breakfast, quick and easy breakfast ideas. We're gonna do, this is a new recipe. Uh, we're gonna make a, it's called Sprouted Love High Protein uh, Bake. Okay. Oh, bake. Here's a bowl, sorry. Just trying to get all the ingredients here. Uh, Sprouted Love Protein Baked Oatmeal. That's what it's called. Okay. And like the crackers, it's a similar dump recipe. Um, all you have to do is put everything in the bowl and mix. So I will walk you through it. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add three tablespoons of sprouted love. Okay. Um, just save a little bit. Well, it doesn't matter. We have more for topping after. It's fine. Okay. So we're going to dump that. Then we're going to add two cups of oats. This is just organic old regular oats. oats. Okay. And then what makes it um, high protein is that there's a half a cup of protein powder in there. Oh, wow. Okay. People are going to ask what kind. So that's age quencher vanilla flavor. But okay. I, any good quality, oh, um, Protein powder without any artificial colors, natural flavors, flavoring, all okay. natural. Okay, okay. But then you can buy from the health food store. That's right. Okay. Okay. Then there is a half a cup of peanut butter. Yep. Um, I'm gonna get you. That and one. you could use like um, like vegan. So I have some, if you have a so just to note, Sprouted Love, uh, the original product and the oats are nut free, oh. gluten free, egg free, dairy free. They're free from allergens. My son has a nut allergy, and I really try here. Stuff. Um, we'll be here um, all day. Yes, I try <laughs> to, you know, uh, I wanted to make a product um, for my son. Really, that's how it all started. That yeah. you can use this nutrient rich. Um, this is for us, so I he doesn't he's not going to eat this oat, so that's why I'm making peanut butter. Okay. But um, I often make it. I use sun butter, so you can make this. Yeah, or any nut butter. Any, that, like, yeah. Okay. Okay. So they're I'm mixing. That. Should I mix together or no? Okay. Okay. This is. You don't this you don't have to use it. This is maple syrup. There's three tablespoons of maple syrup for okay. the whole bake. Um, you can add that. Okay. Sometimes I add it, sometimes I don't. This is one teaspoon of vanilla. This is just gonna just because you know. Yeah. You wanna get all that maple yeah. syrup. Yeah, here, here's a spoon. Maybe okay. it's better to use the mix. Okay. Okay. That's vanilla. Okay. One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. okay. And then I'm gonna have you crack some eggs. Oh, okay. Or do, maybe I'll do it. Yeah, you can I'm do it. close to the Yeah, side. you got it. I'll do it. You got it. Okay. I feel like all I do is crack eggs. Yes. Eggs all day, every day. That's why I love this. I mean, this has an egg in it. Yeah. But well, it's we're trying what am I to like doing with all these here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gina. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's another egg. So it's Can you tell I really I'm not a cooker person? I that's why I, I had everything that, organized for you. I just I don't know what it is. I tried to embrace cooking, baking, all of it, and it's just it's not my jam. I've just Okay. You know. This is two cups of you can use non-dairy milk, you can use dairy milk. This is two cups of oat milk. Okay. The recipe says almond milk, but you can do whatever you want. Whatever. This is two cups. Okay, whatever kind of okay. so there's milk. The, product you want to use okay so i'm just okay mixing. now this is the kicker i added rice cauliflower what because i wanted to boost the nutrition of this high protein bake so i have um a bag i bought of rice cauliflower um i followed the package direction i just cooked it in the bag in the microwave for i think it was like three minutes okay um and that's it and i'm gonna add that you will never know it's in there. I know you're doubting me, but wait till you try it. <laughs> okay, go. Wait call, till you try it. <laughs> Just wait. The cauliflower and the nut butter. And then I see the blueberries, which I'm sure are going on top. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I using, love I, I love use this. blueberries in the recipe. You don't have to okay. use blueberries. You okay. can use, I mean, you don't need fruit. You can use, I uh, the one that I have to show you, I just added pecans. Um, you could add sliced bananas, you could add whatever your 
preferences. So Michelle works with um, obviously learning and training with our program specialists. Are you going to um, put this on their radar? How do I make my thing more nutrient rich? At, at cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay. once. So okay. Let's add some okay. blueberries. All right. Okay. Blueberries and cauliflower. Okay. And, and then we can top the rest. I mean, not so it's I... a half a cup of blueberries for the recipe, and then you top it with a few. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have everything. You're gonna Cut. just. If you, if you pour it from that side, okay. it'll easily go. Right. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And then you can just sprinkle some blueberries on top. Okay. You're doing a great job, Gina. Okay, thank you. I'm just thinking, because I know people are going to ask, like, yes. you know, this is not muffins. No. It's not those things. There's this no baking powder, there's baking no, soda. Yeah. There's, it's literally what you would put here. It's it's literally what you would put on the stove, but you're just baking it um, to make it easier in the morning. You have this here. I'll pull out the one that okay. I have ready in the oven. Okay. Here you go. Oh, stop! So I I did put this looks like cake. This, one. this looks like this well, looks it's like... not. It's just. <laughs> Oh, it's literally <laughs> just, you saw the ingredients. <laughs> I'm glad you wiped that because yeah. the mom and me was like. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to just, I'll just finish. I'll top this off. Okay. So uh, that's, that's the difference, right? With this is that you, you, there, this is just like the straight up ingredients that you would have in an oatmeal, but in a baked form as opposed to heating it on the stove. Right. It's just to it. make it fast and easy in the morning. Like okay. if you have young kids, like I have teenagers, we're always rushing. I'll just slice it. It's in the it's in the fridge. They stick it on a plate, put it in the microwave, and they have a nutrient rich breakfast. What's binding it? Is that the sprouted love? Are you adding the sprouted love it's in there the to egg. bind it? There's two eggs oh, and the sprouted love. Okay, yes. got it. So and then you can drizzle peanut butter on top. I've drizzled peanut butter. Would you like to try? Yes, this? of course. I yeah. okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Tell me if you taste the cauliflower. Oh yeah, I forgot that it was in there. It looks so good. I forgot that it was in there. Wait, I got. I forgot to get a plate. Let okay. me get you. And that, that that portion that's way too big a portion for me. This this is so nutrient dense as well with all of these, right? Like this is not like even if you eat like I'll, I'll have the spreaded love on its own. Just add some milk in there and then do a couple of tablespoons. I find that actually is just super filling the way it kind of all expands and works. Okay, so we're we just gonna dig in. Yeah, this? yeah. Okay. So you bound ooh, together. Yeah, oh, it's not. nice and warm. Mm, okay. All right. What do you think? Oh, good. I can't taste the cauliflower. You could drizzle some some more peanut butter on top, mm. right? Like mm -hmm. you can add um, some honey or some more maple syrup. And there wow. you go. And that put is, this in the uh, oven. Nutrient rich. Okay. Love it. Okay. Woo! Okay. Okay, okay. So, so how do I, I'm not going to eat all that today. Right. So what you can do is you can just cover it, keep it in the fridge for five days, up to five days. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can slice it, put it in individual Tupperwares if you want to take it to go. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, I would even take some yogurt and crumble like little chunks of it in my yogurt. Make yeah. It chunky. I mean, you, it's. So, I love that it's all very similar ingredients and a variety of different things that you can do with it. I know people are really concerned about groceries and the cost of groceries. And do you know what I mean? This is where maybe if you have a little bit of this, a little bit of that left over, you can. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you have fruit that you see isn't going to be eaten, add that to, oh. to your, to your baked It all goes well with cauliflower. Yes. <laughs> do you tell me that you're doing No, it's cauliflower. I do not taste that. It's moist. Yeah, it, it just adds. Yeah, I do not. I would not know that there's cauliflower in there. So I love that. No, I don't think broccoli would have the same effect.